Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction. We're checking out DPR Ian's Peanut Butter and Tears. Now, I did check out the teaser yesterday, actually, before doing the double reaction to Scarity Cat and Nerves, and the teaser was was very trippy and mesmerizing and pretty much what I would expect nowadays with a little something extra because we do see almost like what I assume is a kid version of Christian. So that was really, really cool. And uh, the double reaction that I did, you can check out the playlist somewhere up there for DPR Ian and all of my reactions to him. He has very quickly uh, become one of my favorite artists, even though I don't have a massive catalog for him and his work. Uh, I really, really adore not just his lyrics, the music, his voice, but also how he puts himself out there visually and all the symbolisms and metaphors and everything else. I feel like that it is incredibly inspirational, admirable, fascinating, and relatable. The only thing that I do want to mention is that, as always, everything that I'm talking about, all the quote-unquote conclusions that I'm coming to, these are just my thoughts and my interpretation and my theories. That That's all it is. Uh, not putting any words into anyone's mouth. This is just what comes to my head whenever I see these lyrics or these visuals. And I'm just trying to piece it together and just uh, come up to my own conclusions about it. And just uh, talk to myself and talk talk to myself while there's a camera in front of me, basically, is how I like to think of my uh, reactions. Because I'm someone that actually talks to themselves quite a bit. I'm not sure if I should have said that on camera. But... Uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited about this music video, and I feel uh, very, very uh, in inspired and fascinated whenever I react to DPR Ian and I see his story. It's it's absolutely uh, beautiful, and uh, you know I have nothing but but respect for his his artistry, everything behind the scenes behind the scenes in front of this in front of the lens behind the lens everything that he does and all of the hard work that put he, he puts into this i really really admire him so without further ado peanut butter and tears by dpr ian let's go one, two, <laughs> this looks like the scene from watchmen <laughs> and one in the middle okay not anymore but for a second there Immediately. Wait, hold up. That sound effect, I'm pretty sure that it's from like a company called Audio Machine. And I have it. I'm sorry. Immediately, something felt different. And a lot more. Terrifying. Is that the madness in his head? Green screen, man. Oh, that's cool. If you know, you know. Yeah, this is insanely amazing. <laughs> Oh my 
god. Wait, let's take it back. I, I love the use of AI here. As it emphasizes the insanity and things that you cannot explain. What better way to do it than to use something like AI? Whoa, what the f what? Lucifer, is that you? Holy shit, like the hand, the colors, it reminded me of the show Lucifer when he reveals his, his true face. That's kind of what, how I would imagine his hand to look, actually. This was, I, I feel like to say that this is trippy is like saying that the, the sky is blue. One of the most obvious things about this this music video is how trippy it is he goes to the dentist as a kid but he it, he goes to the dentist he wakes up from the dentist as an adult but there's like visuals of him being a kid maybe it's some kind of a i don't know if maybe that's like some kind of a trigger maybe something happened at the dentist when he was growing up or like the sheer fear of dentists which is something that's probably one of the most relatable things ever. I'm 30 years old and I'm still terrified of going to the dentist. The visuals here and what looks like the implementation of AI with all the like the transitions of the masked people behind him in that one shot with the three characters behind him. It was genius. Because you can do some incredibly trippy and weird shit with AI. I feel like this is a, an amazing opportunity for you to really express the things that you can't actually express that go inside your head. Like, what better way to express insanity and ex express the unexplainable than to use something that is just as insane as AI. The music video itself is so insanely trippy. I'm guessing, like, the visuals of him and, like, this furry shirt or whatever it looks like fetters almost like some kind of a fallen angel or something and we see uh what looks like a explosion of like a some kind of a shooting star or a galaxy or some something green that explodes and there's like a whole bunch of thunder uh and everything happening it's almost like the chaos in his mind so i'm actually uh reading up on google a little bit on the visual representation of bipolar disorder and I found uh, some really interesting things as far as like there's a person called Missy uh, Douglas who is visualizing bipolar disor disorder through her art. And as you can see, the artworks are very... I, I feel like the actual music video is almost like a representation of the worst attack that you can have but yet there's still like these little sprinklings there's like confetti even though if things are exploding and he's holding the microphone there's all kinds of green greenery happening green uh colors on him green hues and all that kind of stuff as like green could represent illness in terms of like the meaning of the color green as far as like feeling green feeling sick uh maybe that there's something there but also within the greenery, there's also something kind of like beautiful because we see like the van at the end of the music video with what looks like northern lights as the, the green sky, northern lights, which even though the green color could represent also a stop sign as far as not a stop sign, uh, a traffic light green as in go, also green as in sick, but also green as in like the northern lights which is one of the most beautiful things that you can fucking see but it also kind of looks like is from another galaxy looking up bipolar disorder uh and seeing if what does um hallucination have to deal with it and hallucinations can be a symptom of bipolar disorder so there's all kinds of different hallucinations which which could be uh auditory i'm sorry auditory auditory or hearing things that no one else can hear. There's somatic, 
feeling something that you can't see or hear or visual seeing something that no one else can see the interesting thing is that i feel like he represents all three ver variations of a hallucination because we see the green screen man which is kind of like a meme online as far as like green screen in, in movies and using you know people to like uh, uh, that wear green screen green suits uh as they can hold something or do something and the shot and then in post you basically edit it out and you create your effect so that means that it's it's a visual thing seeing something that no one else can see or or somatic feeling someone that no one else can can see or hear because the green screen man is technically like supposed to be like invisible um and I, I thought that it was really really genius with the amount of visual effects that you have you still have the green screen man in there uh as like an extension of the hallucination i also saw an article that says that uh, this music video is supposed to represent a new chapter of dpr ian potentially like, as we literally see a new galaxy um so there is like the intro saying that uh forgot my bills on the stove i left home long ago like mentally left or left to pursue something new as is this chapter uh that he is pursuing he also talks about not being able to control all of my fears it's also interesting uh now that we just checked out uh nerves uh i i've seen some comments people mentioned that uh mido was actually the one who loved the girl maybe even more so than christian himself I get told I'm just a stranger, but the way I've been, I've returned as your lost lover. It took me some time. Could that in some way, shape, or form be related to nerves? I, I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, but it's just a cool thing to think about, I guess. The visual style, just in general, is, is just absolutely in insane. I have no other words to describe this as. Like, he is literally messing with himself as he is playing with the reflection with the reflector and the kid's eyes which is him and him in the night which is like distorting his perception as he's having what could be explained as a hallucination or an extreme hallucination with both like visual uh the auditory somatic and uh the one where you you see things that aren't actually there the field of flowers and everything and he's literally w wearing uh a flower shirt all the butterflies that butterflies are supposed to be like a symbol of like uh transformation and uh resurrection and just uh, is supposed to be very very positive um and yet the the the, the man the, the green screen man is trying to touch him but you technically we're not supposed to see him it's almost like they forgot to add the effect on him it, 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 in the sense that uh we're not supposed to see that man, but yet he feels and he sees him and that that whole shot with Christian turning into an anime character. And that whole AI thing, it was just absolutely I I, I don't know I don't know what, what else to say. This, this music video is absolutely incredible. Uh there's also like a very quick shot of the police car. Everything is just going out of control, so it feels like like galaxies, fucking whales. Uh, th if this is not a representation of insanity, he feels sadness, he feels joy, he feels craziness, he feels all of these various aspects. Like his world in that moment is as beautiful at times as it is terrifying in other times and it's literally burning as he's dancing. Like as he is literally, he could be like maybe in a burning building or something, but yet because of whatever is happening or you're hallucinating or something else you feel like you're in the field and yet you smell fire and you can't really explain what is happening when in reality you're in a fucking burning building or something like that like maybe i'm going off a little bit too extreme but the little things of like uh contrasting all of the quote-unquote insane positivity it looks like such a trip but yet you have like those little emphases of fire and little bits of darkness being thrown in there to let you know that this is not a happy moment. But yet, 
his singing, his dancing, the guitar, maybe music saves him, which could be a thing that, you know, music is the only thing that he can truly count on at the worst of times. So I, I can see that as well. And literally him spinning as his mind is spinning out of control is also fucking awesome. And I, 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 I don't know what else to say. The, the painting, which almost looks like a fallen angel or falling into the depths of the ocean, which is the depression or something like that, or after you experienced a, an attack or something, like there's a lot of emphasis of like uh, panic, anxiety, uh, stress, and, and everything, everything in between. It's all being represented here in such a way that give this man an award, honestly. The song itself is amazing. So much so that I actually, the visuals are so fucking captivating that I tend to forget to talk about the actual song when I react to DPR Ian. But like the, the visual storytelling is absolutely insane. And there's so many different keys. It's almost like, is he in that hotel from Scaredy Cat? I, 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 I don't really know where, where he is at or if all of these they do mention there's like three doors in in the teaser trailer or something like that the keys unlock various parts of your mind who knows uh if you know anything else about this music video feel free to let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this reaction and if i made any sense at all i had legitimately in the moment i had so much fun discussing this and exploring this music video but now that i'm kind of like realizing that this is based on like something that people legitimately deal with and like the the fact that the music video expresses like all of these feelings of insanity anxiety stress and just everything in between the more it dawns on me the more it's kind of like almost it makes me feel bad for being so excited about it or it kind of like breaks my heart a little bit i i don't really know how to explain it but the song itself is incredible the, the visuals here are absolutely immaculate uh so if i managed to make any sense and if you enjoyed this reaction make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll catch you all in the next one thank you so much for watching have a wonderful weekend you guys see you